everyone, it's Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report here on Mingle Media TV. And it's night two for the Paley Festival. Really excited tonight because it's all about community. They've been on hiatus, but they're coming back March 15th, and we're here to get the inside scoop. Kristen, can I fix you first? You've got glitter. Oh, God. I know. Glitter all on your shoulder. One of those foo-foos from E. I guarantee it. Blame E. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. Yes. Uh, I, it, c it couldn't be better timing for community to be coming back. We're so excited. And, and yes, to have Mad Men, it's been such a long time since people have seen Mad Men. I think the trick is that we just starve the fans <laughs> to, make them, to make them love shows more. And then when we bring it back, it's like such a bigger splash. Or even more rabid. I mean, and talk exactly. about it's the, it's the withholding. It's the withholding. So I heard you might be pushing the envelope a little bit further this season, maybe? Uh, well, it's definitely the, I, I have a sort of OCD, like, kind of need to tell this four-chapter story of Jeff Winger getting his, uh, his degree, his bachelor's that he came there for. And in a four-chapter story, the third has to be the darkest, so. Uh, besides that, I mean, um, I get to play a couple of really cool characters. I'm very excited about a Law, uh, Law and Order episode because we get to take on the whole, like, tone of it. And uh, that was fun to be, to, to be a detective. It was fun. dun-dun. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't seen any, like, the post or editing, anything. That was in my head, though, the whole time. Dun, dun. Every scene, dun, dun. <laughs> Changes how you approach every, the end of every conversation. <laughs> dun, dun. Let's see. We're going to have a really big season finale. We have a two-parter somewhere in the middle. We have doppelgangers. We have... Do we have any more animals? I always feel like there's animals on our show. Can't remember it. We had a goat in the past, but I don't know if we had a, the goat didn't return. But I mean, what more could you ask for? We've basically got it all on our show. I heard there's a great Law and Order episode. Coming. Yeah, there is a Law and Order episode. I think that's going to be awesome. We don't actually get to see them before they air, so we sort of get to see them as the audience does. But I hear they're awesome. All right, what's the craziest scenario you're getting into in the last 12 episodes? Oh Lord. Um... I get into trains, so I wear a sexy train outfit, but that is, you know, so I think just more skin. <laughs> episodes, what's the most absurd thing your character gets into? Oh, um, I think the most absurd thing that happens is I get, my character gets poisoned, and uh, he becomes quite delusional through the poisoning. It's a combination of uh, topical drugs and the ego, so... Uh, that's probably the most. And then I start attacking children. What are you going to see for you and your character this season? Shirley actually starts to have episodes with different characters. She's kind of been in the background just going, oh, that's nice. And now she's kind of driving some of the stories, which is great. There's a, the first episode back on March 15th is a whole Shirley episode. All the stories kind of funnel into her character, which is great. And Malcolm Jamal Warner returns. And so the second half of the season, I got to really play with different, different actors on the show. Me and Joel do a lot more episodes together or scenes together. I worked with Chevy a lot more in the second half of the season. Worked a lot with Jim Rash. So it's, it's, it's good. It's really good. Um, is it completely creepy that I already tweeted out a photo of your leg? No. Yeah, because you have the most famous leg in the industry now. You know that. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. And Jim Rash, Oscar winner. Hello. Um, the sexiest leg in the industry. Oh, my God. Jim's got some sexy legs. <laughs> we found him first. You saw him here first. Yes, we did get the inside scoop on the most famous leg in the industry. Not Angelina Jolie, but Oscar winner Jim Rash. I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report. We'll see you next time.